What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, as well as the S&P 500. So guys, uh, it looks like we're not going to be hanging out this low for long. We're actually starting to form some really big uh, symmetrical triangle formations on some of the major cryptocurrencies. I actually drew one out just yesterday for Bitcoin last night, which did actually break bullish and break through uh, the, L or the symmetrical triangle that was forming on its hourly charts. I'm also starting to notice the same exact pattern form on ethereum and we're starting to see similar movements within xrp as we speak so i want to talk about these more in depth as i do think we've hit the bottom for most of these cryptos and honestly it looks like we're going to start heading back up as we're currently floating at sixty-two thousand dollars. and just yesterday when we broke on bitcoin we were hitting sixty-three thousand dollars, which is incredible cardano still consolidating but we have to talk about these because it looks like we're coming to an end here ideally guys definitely make sure to enter the crypto coin display giveaway that we do it's completely free drawing is every sunday and all you have to do to enter is comment your favorite cryptocurrency down below as well as comment subscribed and you will be entered as always i am checking and if you're not subscribed you will not win otherwise guys today's video is sponsored by pulsar token if you guys want to learn more about this elastic rebase coin that will eventually reach the price of bitcoin sixty thousand dollars i know that sounds crazy then stick around to the end of today's video where we're going to be talking in depth about what exactly the pulsar coin is otherwise guys make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications smash the like button and let's jump into today's episode So first things first, I do want to look at the current coin market cap. You can see overall market is up only a very little bit. We're up about a percent at $2.49 trillion. Top 10 cryptocurrencies, everything is pretty much just consolidating right now. But you guys can see overall the past week, cryptocurrency has been doing fairly well. We're up double digits pretty much with every crypto here. Now, ideally, I would like to start with Bitcoin, then we'll move into Ethereum, XRP, so on and so forth. I just kind of want to give you that pattern. So you can skip around in today's video to find the XRP charts here, but I think this is all fairly important. So guys, Bitcoin just yesterday was actually forming this really big symmetrical triangle here. Hopefully you can clearly see this drawn here with the hourly charts. Now this is hourly, which means it breaks fairly quickly. And about last night, I think it was, yeah, about 21 if not a little earlier uh you can see on the time here at 15 and military time whatever that comes out to 3 p.m i think yeah and then so on and so forth uh into early morning today up to 4 a.m we actually broke bullish at 5 in the morning here and we've been consolidating no i am definitely wrong but we have been consolidating overall here and you can see that drawing the symmetrical triangle here we did briefly break to the upside here and we carried ourselves out and then i noticed something even bigger for me that really i didn't realize until i started to extend these out check this out guys so i move this up to here and i bring our symmetrical triangle like this and then i notice the extension here i extend this out and look at how perfectly this acts at a top resistance so i no longer need this uh descending fractal here and i'm starting to notice that we are coming to what appears to be an ascending fractal with a top resistance that ends in honestly about three to four hours so we're probably going to see what could be a breach above our top resistance about 60 to five for uh, Bitcoin in the very near future. Now I can slightly move this up here if we want to just a little bit, just so we know that this is the top resistance. So ideally this could be a more aggressive style of trade if you are looking to get in and get out. So for more of my aggressive and uh, professional style of traders that watch uh, crypto TV, you can obviously set up a, a bit your account or for those that uh, want to learn and are a beginner, you can literally go to contract trading where crypto is right here for BitYard and you can literally instead of clicking live you click demo and you can trade around with a demo account and actually uh, capitalize or test your skills out on this approach right here so ideally you can set one up right here on trading view a sideways uh, trend line with a top resistance clearly this is it right here on the hourly that we're looking at just like that and i'll draw it i'll make it a little easier we'll do a horizontal line with our top resistance being right here this is clearly the top and we have a beautiful uptrend forming on the hourly two which we can clearly map out just like this so now you guys have the general consensus of what we're looking at if the hourly charts extend and break above our top resistance here we know to buy in and leverage to the upside on the hourly so a very quick trade and vice versa 
if we decide to break through our uptrend or sorry this yeah the uptrend the support here and not through the price ceiling and we start to correct lower then we know to buy in and short the cryptocurrency leverage it to the downside it's that simple so whether you're a beginner or an aggressive trader you can either use the demo or the live account and capitalize on this run that's coming very soon right here so very excited for that hopefully you guys clearly see the beautiful one hour ascending triangle that's forming that's creating beautiful higher lows i don't know how much um, more they can give us here this is the perfect ascending triangle formation with a clear top resistance level that if we breach we know that's when we can buy in and i'll delete this for right now and draw a horizontal line just so we can have a general idea of what we're dealing with so clearly a top resistance we close anywhere above like 62791 an hourly candle above there big chance we're going to see a rally to the upside here we could zoom out to the four hour this is definitely for more moderate traders here you can see if the four hour closes here we're in we're in it definitely a much bigger trade here hourly is definitely more of this aggressive style of trade if we close above here it's more aggressive if you play the four hour it's more of a moderate style trade a little bit easier a little more you know confirming and then obviously the daily is extremely conservative obviously you can see right here if we can close that then we know but either one you can pick and choose if you want to play the four hour the four hour looks great too if this breaks above top resistance close the uh, a four hour candle above here we know to buy in long so it's up to you whether you want to wait on the four hour or the hourly which is a much more aggressive style of trade but this is coming guys it's clear as day so get ready for the top to be broken potentially or a swing back to the downside here now this carries on to these other cryptos and i'm sorry that i'm talking about xrp last but uh these are very important trades that i'm not really seeing within xrp unfortunately but you can see here for ethereum now we're forming a very similar pattern here there's clearly a top down trend that's clear as day and there's clearly a supportive uptrend here clear as day so these do come to some sort of brief you know, intersection that is going to break in some sort of direction on Ethereum. So this is another cryptocurrency that's forming. This is more of an uptrend here, an ascending triangle. Ethereum is more of a symmetrical triangle, but clearly lower highs that are forming and we have higher lows that are forming that at some point or another are going to be intertwined here and we are going to see a brief break um to top or to bottom here so we know that if we break through our top resistance we can leverage to the upside or to the downside here which we can do on bityard obviously linked in the description if you guys wanted to check it out um, and there are sign up bonuses which is really cool as well but you can see here that's pretty much it and once again aggressive trade on the hourly four hour is a lot less but you can obviously make a play here if the four hour closes it's more moderate and daily is more of a conservative trade but ideally trading inside of here isn't necessarily a conservative thing uh, unlike bitcoin this is inside a major ascending fractal here so playing it conservative buying in you could see a maybe a, a small swing to top resistance to about 4k but it is definitely still slightly aggressive um but more on that conservative side compared to you know playing around on the uh four hour or the hourly which are in it literally for the end of today and then you're going to swing out so it's up to you what you want to do but there's clearly these symmetrical triangles forming here and hopefully you guys notice that so breakout is coming within the next couple of hours now we do have xrp here which is forming more so like a a rising wedge pattern i it's hard to it's hard to figure this out here but there is clearly an uptrend there's clearly a top resistance level and we are kind of intertwining and eloping inside of this uh fractal here and you can see we are getting intertwined right now with the moving average the problem is we've been bouncing around on this bottom support for quite a while like it's hard to adjust this and say okay this is accurate it really is i mean even more so it's hard to adjust it like this it's it's really a wide triangle and i'm not ideally sure that i like it versus like something like this which was a little more accurate here and now we're extending it out i am not entirely sure but regardless i am playing this really conservative for xrp bitcoin and ethereum are very easy trades right now ethereum is a little more aggressive here it's hard to find some sort of of movement to make it easier to, to trade you know i mean yes okay so here is one that i didn't notice because we were on the four hour but if you wanted to play once again an aggressive trade on xrp for its hourly charts you can clearly see the uptrend that's forming here whether we start it here or we move it a little shorter ideally there is some sort of symmetrical triangle that is forming with a clear top resistance and a clear bottom there is a symmetrical triangle that is probably going to break 
with all these other cryptocurrencies. So within the hourly charts though, so it's a much more aggressive style of trade compared to four hour and so on and so forth. Either way, we are intertwined with the four hour moving average. We are pretty darn low and undervalued, not only on the MACD, but on the RSI. So, I mean, all things are giving us hope that we'll probably see a rally back to the upside here and finally break us above $1.13 if we want to enter a more long-term conservative trade. But for those that are impatient or more aggressive, we are forming these bigger symmetrical triangles on the hourly chart which you can play around with in the short term and eventually scale it a little bit bigger here. But just pay attention to these. Now, Cardano 2, um, it's just tough, but we are getting intertwined with this moving average. It, it seems like as time has you know uh, played out here, we're now getting sandwiched between the moving average as well as the top resistance. We are getting closer to seeing a bearish cross here which is not necessarily a good sign. But as we play out to here, ideally what we need, and we still haven't broken the downtrend, which is interesting, is we are getting sandwiched and we might pop through this because of this moving average here. Ideally, that's what we're waiting for. It's just a signal. I mean, I, I'm sorry for my ADA holders, but this is, this is boring. But at some point it is going to pop with big aggression. As for S&P 500, wow, we actually rallied higher. Very exciting. And I did think this was gonna happen. I think it's going to continue to slowly run its way up to the upside here. Otherwise, you do want to talk about Pulsar Token. I want to give a huge shout out to Pulsar Token for sponsoring today's episode. As with all cryptocurrency projects, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, Pulsar Token is a recently launched rebase coin based on the Binance Smart Chain that is mathematically guaranteed to exceed the price of Bitcoin. And I know that sounds crazy, but let me explain. It's also currently available on PancakeSwap 2. Now I'm sure for most of you, this is the first time you're hearing of a crypto classified as a rebase coin. So I want to explain explain exactly what that is. A rebase or price elastic token is designed in a way that the circulating token supply adjusts either increases or decreases automatically according to a token's price fluctuations. This expansion and contraction is what is called a rebase mechanism. So rebase tokens are somewhat akin to stable coins in a sense that they both have price targets. However, unlike stable coins, rebase tokens have an elastic supply, meaning the circulating supply adjusts accordingly to supply and demand without changing the value of the tokens in the user's wallet. Very interesting, right? So the question now is what happens to the user's point of view? The amount of tokens in each wallet will increase or decrease accordingly. Yet the total value of each wallet doesn't change thanks to the rebasing mechanism. So the Pulsar token is the world's first elastic rebasing token with an actual real world use case and utility with an elastic supply. So over the period of approximately eight weeks, every four hours, a protocol will call for a rebase, which will automatically increase the pegged price of the token by 5%. And this peg price will determine if the token goes through a negative or positive rebase based on the current market price of the Pulsar token. And to break this down more, phase one, which ends November 27th, period of approximately eight weeks, a protocol is run every four hours to increase the price by 5% until it has exceeded the Bitcoin's price. And in phase two, dividends begin being paid out and a one-stop shop may Metaverse is going to be introduced. Now, as with any rebase coin, the value of your investment is directly tied to the market cap of the coin, which has been growing by hundreds of thousands just in the past few days. Keep in mind, guys, there is a total supply of 21 million tokens, and the Pulsar token also has a genuine community, thousands growing rapidly across Telegram, Twitter, and Reddit, and they also have a large international marketing budget to continue increasing awareness significantly for the project. Now, guys, Pulsar token will be unaffected by the greater market market. Approximately eight weeks from launch, Pulsar will obviously rise to the price of Bitcoin. The big question is obviously posed as whether the Pulsar's inherent value relevant to Bitcoin will inherit its returns. So whether this happens or not depends purely on speculation and market psychology. And we may assume that there may be some correlation to the pegged price returns. Although as with any speculative asset, only time will give us the true answer. Regardless, at the time, Pulsar will evolve into a bigger, long-term project and Pulsar version 2 will be created. 
And what that means is Pulsar version 2 will provide the opportunity for holders to merge into a long-term project. Version 2's modus operandi is that it will be a major platform in decentralized finance and blockchain as a whole. So you guys, current platforms that offer services for DeFi traders and service providers in the crypto space are scattered and inefficient, and Pulsar aims to unite all fronts and offer a platform that will be a one-stop metaverse where you are provided everything you need in one place. So guys, by contributing to Pulsar, you'll be getting early access to the entire ecosystem of blockchain related services, and will have the rights to share the dividends of the entire project moving forward forever. Much more to come, so definitely stay tuned. So guys, if this sounds interesting and you would like to learn more about the project, please check the links in the description of today's video. Otherwise, huge shout out to Pulsar Token for sponsoring today's episode. Always make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.